Hi everyone, welcome to your 14th R tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to talk a little bit more about functions in R. In the last video I showed you how to use how to create and use a function that only had one argument. Now I'm going to show you how to use a function with multiple arguments and also multiple steps within that function. Let's say I want to have a function with two numbers as the input. I want to square the first number and I want to take that result and add the second number to it. This is a very fun easy function to do in R, but I'm simply using this as an example to show you how to create functions in R so that you can create more complex functions down the road. Let's, uh, let's get started. First thing we have to do, same as last time, we have to name our function. I'm going to name it. Uh, I'm going to click in the source, name my function. I'll call it fun. Arrow in and type function. So far, everything's the same as last time. But now I put arguments inside my function. I can name these arguments um, pretty much whatever I want. Uh, I think there's a few reserved keywords, but it's uh, you have a lot of freedom with the name, uh, the arguments inside this function. They're kind of arbitrary. They're not really that important. So let's do x, y. And recall last time that I need angle brackets. Now, I could write this function all in one line. It really wouldn't be that difficult to do. But just to show you how to handle multiple lines of code, I'm going to break this up into a few lines and then show you how to return the result. The next step of this function is I need those curly brackets. And I'm going to hit enter a few times just to give myself a little bit of room. I'm going to create a kind of placeholder variable that's going to hold my output of my function. I'm going to call it out. And the first step that I had mentioned when I described this function is I'm going to take that first number and I'm going to square it. So let's do that. So we're going to take x and square it, and that's going to be stored in that temporary value, uh, temporary variable called out. Next, I want to take that second value and add it to that first number squared. So let's do that, and it's going to take the result that's immediately above it, add y, and then restore it in the same result with the same name. Now I have to return the value of my function. Now the way functions work in R is they can only return one object. There is a workaround for that and I'll probably discuss that in a later video. But for now, just, uh, just know that you can only return one object in a function in R. And the object that it returns is the, uh, the very last line of that function or the result of that line when it's executed. So I want to return the value that's in out. So the very last line in my function is that variable out. Let me go ahead and send this line, these lines of code to the console. Now I have a function called fun. You can see it up there on the uh, upper right hand side on the workspace. So let's test our function out. Let's do fun. Let's do three, five. Before we hit enter, let's walk through the math. Three squared is nine. Nine plus five is 14. We should get 14 when we hit enter. And indeed we do. So there's kind of a little bit more, uh, a little bit more of a uh, introduction on what you can do with functions in R. There is also another kind of function um, but it's going to look a little bit different than the ones we've seen so far. The only difference, though, is that it, it may look a little bit different, but it really acts the same way uh, as, as, uh, as any other function that you know. It's just going to, you might not have necessarily always thought of this as a function. This function is a special, um, is a special function that takes the argument on the left-hand side of it, the argument on the right-hand side of it, and perform some sort of operation. Let me create this function, execute it, and I think it'll be a little bit more clear what I mean uh, when I say that. 
to, uh, to create this special kind of function, we need special notation. Let's describe the function that I want. Let's say I have two strings, and I'll name them and I'll uh, assign them uh, uh, variables. Let's say I want to take the uh, take a first name, last name, and combine them together. First name. I'm going to use my first name, and I'm going to put a space there at the end, uh, just so that there's there's room when I combine these together. And I'm going to create a last name. Okay, my first name, my first last, uh, my first name and last name. Okay, well, let's create these. Now, what would be nice is if we could just do something like this, and have, or or doesn't need to be a plus sign; it could be any operator. Something like this, where we could just put them together like this with just one symbol in the middle. Uh, unfortunately, you'll see if I try and add these two together, I get an error down there in the console. So there isn't something in R that will, at least that I'm not aware of. I'm not aware of anything in R that by default is going to be a uh, some sort of operator in the middle like this, where you can take the left-hand side, the right-hand side of two, uh, two character variables and put them together. So we're going to create one. I'm going to... To create one, I need these quotes like this, and inside, I need to give the function a name, but surrounding that name, I need parentheses. So there's a uh, there's two uh, sorry, not parentheses, two percent signs. So there's two percent signs, and I'm going to put the name uh, of my function in between those percent signs. I'm just going to call this function p, p for paste. You'll see why I'm calling it paste in a minute, but just a nice short variable name so that uh, in the future, if I want to take the first name, last name, or any uh, any old character string and put them together, I have a built-in function that'll do that. Okay, so that's the left-hand side. I need my assignment operator, just like before. I'm gonna type out function, just like before. And if you think about this, I have two arguments in this function. I have whatever's on the left-hand side, whatever's on the right-hand side. Now the format's a little bit different than above, where I have the function name, parentheses, first argument, second argument, right parentheses. Um, but the idea is the same. Things are just rearranged a little bit, but at the end of the day, this is still a function. So let's do function x comma y. And just as before, I have these curly brackets, and I'm going to put the, um, the function within this curly brackets, the, the part that's actually doing the work. Now, as I had mentioned before, I'm going to, before I write this function, you'll notice that in that line above, uh, line number one, I have function x comma y. And you notice in line 10, I have function x comma y. This doesn't make a difference. Um, again, these inputs into the function, they're just placeholders. They don't really uh, have any meaning outside of this function. Okay, so now let's create the function. We have those curly brackets. There is a built-in function in R that will uh, put two character strings together, and it's called paste. Unfortunately, it doesn't always have the most convenient format. You have to write it paste, first argument, comma, second uh, argument, right parentheses. Sometimes that's convenient, sometimes not so much. But in this case, I'm going to use R's built-in function and then just kind of tailor it to my needs so I can have this operator that I wanted. So I have paste x comma y. Now by default, paste puts a space in between two things that you paste together. So I'm going to do sep equals blank. Let's walk through what this is doing. Reading from left to right, paste is the name of my function, x is my first argument, y is my second argument, and I have that optional argument in paste where I define the separation to be nothing. It's just going to take that first, first name, last name, put them together side by side. So let's create this function. So let's do console, 
and you'll notice uh, on the functions, uh, under functions on the workspace tab, I have this new function with those funny looking percent signs and that P. Now let's execute this function. To execute this function, I don't need those single quotes that I used to create the function, but I still need those percent signs that are wrapping around the, that, the function name, in this case, P. So let's take first name, percent P, last name, execute. And you can see there in the console, it pasted those two values together. Doesn't look like a function at first, but trust me, it is. And I think you can see now that it is acting like a function. I'm going to leave it there for now. I'll talk about functions in at least one more video and hope that helped you guys and I'll see you guys next time.